Warning, this cave is darker. Make sure that you have the pocket lamb. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games, back with another Mario Multiverse 1 level for every game style video. Let's get started. We have our Super Mario Odyssey Retro level. It's called Trouble at the Gourmet Vault Part 2. Let's do it. Whoa, this looks amazing. And the music is sweet. Whoa, and we have a hammer bro trying to ruin our life. But we have five hearts, so I'm not too worried. Toad cannot jump super high, but he has very cool graphics of this style. I like it. Don't want the fire bro to kill me. Oh, Sledge bro, that was rude, but that's fine. Man, I'm loving the look of this. Oh, okay, I need to get this fire flower. Fire flower toad is sweet. Just check him out. He's cool. All right, here we go. Fire flower toad, nothing can possibly go wrong. We got twirly twirls. We lost fire flower toad, so now everything can go wrong. But we have a checkpoint, so now nothing can go wrong. Does that make sense? Magic Koopa? Man, I love this art style. I could play a whole fan game in this art style alone. Mario Multiverse has all the coolest game styles. No thanks, Sledge Bro. <gasps> we walked off the mushroom and died. We need to not fall off the mushroom platforms. Hey, what's up, my friends? Take this warp pipe, Toad. I located the boom boom that's raided the gourmet vault and discovered the warp pipe that led to the location. I must warn you though, once you enter the pipe, there's no going back. Oh yeah? Toad's not worried. Toad is a superhero. Wow, lots of stuff here. Hey, there's a camera up there, spying on me. That's not right. If you're reading this, then that means that you somehow managed to get inside the secret Boom Boom hideout. While we don't know how you got in here alive, we do know you will not come out alive. Even if you do survive, Toad, we highly doubt you and your Darby BTG friend Hey, what the heck? will have much hope to stop us. Let's have fun with our elaborate death traps anyway. Those Boom Booms you fought back at the Gourmet Vault. All right. Fire flowers, ice flowers, Frog suits, propellers. Let's go with Tanuka Toad and Frog Toad. That seems like a horrible choice. Let's do it. <laughs> Frog Toad looks sweet. Yep, Frog Toad was a mistake, but that's fine. At least we got to keep it. And those are death blocks. <laughs> those are death Donkey Kong blocks. We just gotta be careful though. That's fine. Don't fall on the. Oh, don't fall on the Donkey Kong thing. Ooh. Damage boosting is fun. We only got two more hearts though. Ooh, checkpoint. <gasps> I stepped on the Donkey Kong thing again, dang it. I have an idea. We're gonna try to tanuki these disco waffle balls. Easy peasy. Tanuki toad schneezy. We'll go over here, checkpoint, nice. Donkey Kong <laughs> in a uh, banana clown car. <laughs> I love it. It's because we secretly went into Mario Arcade style. Boom, boom, one. Remind me why they're invincibility flags and banana bowl. Thing. I can't read that right now. There's too much stuff on the screen. <laughs> That's not right. Help. Those are not going away. Okay, this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Damage boost was the way to go, my friends. How about our checkpoint? No? Cool. Didn't want one anyways. Conveyor belts are never good. Oh, no more. Oh, that's not right. All right, we got... Oh, jeez. We got Donkey Kongs throwing bananas like Mad Men or Mad Gorilla Men. Gorilla Men's a word. I like the screen scroll. That was cool. And the level? Sure. Why not? Nope. Checkpoint. The low gravity room may cause killer blindness. Another camera. <laughs> Whoa, this looks crazy. We got like some cereal back there or something. Whoa, low gravity for sure. Wee. <laughs> Oh, we're dead. Well, yeah, boom some, yeah, boom some. You win some, you boom some. That's what I should have said. I'm trying to get like a quick kill. Okay. Whoa, that was close to burning my head. Okay. One boom boom down. And two boom booms down. <laughs> yep, good. Good work. This level was awesome. Good work, Toad. While you kept the two Boom Booms busy with the low gravity fight, we were able to hack into their teleportation devices. Where are we send them, you might ask? The Mushroom Kingdom Core Room. They're awaiting trial as we speak. The hope is that we'll be able to send them off to prison. Well, cool. Boom Boom Holding Cell. If proven guilty, both Boom Booms will be put in the cell and taken to custody to serve their prison sentence. 
While Nero Arc and the Toads deal with the two Boom Booms trial, Mario and Luigi have decided to go straight home and get some rest. The following day, Mario decided to go for a stroll in the woods. Little did he know, something special would also happen. Interesting that, uh... Now we're Wario, and uh, we played as to- Nope, we're Mario. <laughs> oh, the boy, what a wonderful day to take a stroll in the forest. It's like a cutscene, basically. I hope those thoughts manage to successfully imprison those rotten boom booms. It's moments like these that really allow you to reflect on your life. It's truly a special feeling. I see some shade up ahead. Perhaps I should give my legs a little bit of a wrist. Good job, Mario. Very Wario Mario. Wait, who is she? Greetings, Mario. I have come on behalf of Princess Daisy. We would like to thank you for your efforts for saving Princess Daisy a few months ago. As thanks, we have got this thing because the text went too quick and I couldn't read it. And this one's got Mario and Luigi climbing the mountain. We're going to be our boy Luigi. Good old Luigi. With his Mario Brothers 2 ducky jumps. Mario Brothers 2 mountain style. Very cool. Mario 2 Mushroom gives us Super Luigi. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. They did add the super jumps to this, but I don't think this creator used them. <laughs> and we're dead! We died to literally a little tiny gap. A two block gap. Pretty embarrassing. Okay, land here so we don't fall off. Well, it is time to bring some weapons and then climbing the mountain. <laughs> Alright, I'm not sure that that's a complete sentence. And he's gone. Hey, Toad. We will climb the mountain, but there are monsters! I'll bring the gun to shoot them. All right, we'll see you later. <laughs> uh, warning! There are monsters on the mountain, so if you want to climb, make sure you have your weapons, and then watch out for the monsters. Sounds like a good plan. Boom! <laughs> Mario says wahoo, and Luigi says yeah at the same time. Mario and Luigi decide to punch and stomp the monsters, and uh, then it went away. But yeah, this is great. I like this pixel art, too. It's kind of like where the trees would block our view. They kind of go away that's a cool way to do it that way we never miss any of the action i assume these are all bottomless pits so we should be kind of careful luigi's super floaty but he can jump really high which is pretty dang awesome okay we got an arrow telling us to go right seems obvious but you know it's good not to get lost we propeller luigi an old mario 2 style looks pretty sweet I see something over here we might want. Sweet! And... It is... A 1-Up! Yeah, 1-Ups are pretty sweet. Sweet! Warning, this cave is darker. Make sure that you have the pocket lamb. <laughs> <laughs> I think he meant lamp. <laughs> but now I'm picturing this pocket-sized lamp that helps you through the dark. <laughs> wow. Mario and Luigi don't have the pocket lamp. <laughs> Why? Instead, they have a light block as a pocket lamp. <laughs> well, that'll work. When you can't find your pocket lamp, just grab a light block. That's what I always say. We might as well grab this fire flower as well, which got rid of our propeller suit instead of the mushroom at the top. That was not the right choice, but that's fine. Who needs to fly around when you have a replacement pocket lamb? <laughs> this is great. I gotta say, this level's actually really fun and well made, and that typo is actually really awesome, so you should be proud of yourself. Because without that typo, we would have never have thought about having a pocket lamb. <laughs> ever. I don't think I've ever heard that term. These death blocks are scary. But when you don't have time for a bottomless pit, I guess you death block it. All right, get me out of here. We need to find our pocket lamb. And then they did it. They're finally out of the dark cave. Now there's one last thing to do. It's simple. All they have to do is climb. Climb, eh? Climb the mountain. Mario says wahoo and Luigi says yeah at the same time <laughs> you are the mountain climber pocket lamb or not we did it and that's all that matters ah! all right this one's called wario's greedy christmas we're only about you know a month late for this but that's fine wario's greedy christmas find a way to enter the houses and steal the presents inside and most importantly the pink coins all right i can do that boom a little garlic never hurt anybody other than vampires, but you know, vampires don't like garlic. 
it's not my fault. Once you got the key, make sure to reach the docks at the other side of the city to leave it. Don't use the key to open one of the house's doors or else you'll be soft locked. Extra garlic never hurt anybody, except for vampires. <laughs> Stop it. Well, that's what you get for hurting me. The more presents you steal, the more points you get. Get the highest score possible. Well, if I was a guesser man, I'd say we go in the chimneys. Chimney time. Well, this is cool. Nice uh, graphics, and I like these layouts. It does look like a little house. It's like a heart. Oh, geez, help! These dang bubble bros. Get me with their bubbly brew. Into the door. Ah. Oh. Was there no... I, I don't know if there was any presents in there, to be honest with you. <laughs> I felt like I just got attacked by the homeowner, honestly. But that's fine. Maybe I missed something here. Heart. There's a gem. For those who say, just don't put any fireplaces in the first place, how about you appreciate my artistic integrity? Oh, <laughs> well, I, I get it because, you know, the fireplace hurt me as soon as I went through. That's fine. There's one of the pink coins. So we probably missed one in the other one. We should probably go find it. Okay. All right, we need a lot of pink coins. We need to do some more stealing. Why don't we just hop on these clouds? How the heck do I get up? Oh, those are semi-solid. That's how you get up there. Cool. First house. Where is the pink key coin? I see it now. All right, so up here is the one we needed from this one. Whoa. Oh, this is like blue shell. That's awesome. All right, so we need to go in this one, steal some more presents. Now, where was the one in this one? Cause like, oh, I see it. I have to hit an on-off block. Somehow. Okay, so for this one, we need an on-off block to go in there. So we need to find a house with an on-off block, which will open up the block in the other house, which makes total sense. Let it do Please don't come in my house and steal my stuff. Thank you. Well, you know what? It's not your lucky day, because I'm going into your house and I am stealing your stuff. Where's this on-off block? I don't know why I'm here, nor am I, but I do know what I was meant to do. What? Oh wow, we're running low on time. Oh, I, I really screwed this up. <laughs> I needed an on-off switch. Is there any checkpoints? <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no sky color option, so that's why it looks like it's daytime. As for the thunderstorm, that's the only way I could find to make the level dark. Well, I'm gonna lose some enough time. All right, we gotta start over. I'll see you back when I'm pretty much where I was before. Figure out... I'm missing a key somewhere. Can I break that? There we go. It's gotta be a key in here, right? Oops. <laughs> yep, right there. Key. Cool. Alright, so we have all the keys. Well, I mean, we don't, but we know where they all are now. Okay. This should be pretty easy, then. I'm going to the store. And... We'll get that key. And then we just gotta go over here and get this last one. And success! There we go. Everything we need. The only thing it should have done is did no time limit. Like, time limit is kind of rough when you're searching for stuff. Uh, but that'd be my only critique. Would be, yeah, maybe no, no, maybe no time limit. So, you know, you don't have to restart the game just because you run out of time. This is where the key must be used. All right. We got two hits and we're dead. Please don't hit me, boomerang, bro. Uh-oh. End of level. That's fine. <laughs> Everything's good. All right, a normal and crazy snow. We could be Nabbit or Mario. Let's be Nabbit. Although Nabbit can't get power-ups, which means one hit will kill us. Actually, we might have hearts on this one, so we should probably be fine. Good to use hearts when you use a costume character. Nabbit actually fits in here pretty good. I like it. Thank you. Squoosh a Goomba. Squoosh a, uh, a Goomba. I can't talk, but you know what I'm trying to say. Maybe, maybe you don't. Oops. I'm glad we got the hearts, because I would be dead. There's an extra heart. Nabbit can jump nice and high. Makes me miss the costumes whenever I see them. In Mario Maker 1, we had all those cool costumes. The costumes can't pick enemies up, but they look sweet. It mixes up the gameplay. I like it. There's probably something cool in that question mark block, but we can't get it anyways. We got three hearts. What more could we want? This is a pretty cool traditional level. I guess we could just hang out up here. Whoa! Bug bug. Bug bug. I want to see what this bug bug is. Okay. Okay. Oh, it glitched through there, sort of, I guess. 
Uh, sort of? <laughs> I don't know. This is pretty funny either way. Yeah, it's just kind of fun to play as an abbot. Look out, pre any plant. This feels like end of the level. Nope, checkpoint though. Boss fight. Nabbit versus. Nabbit versus. A paratrooper. I guess there's no boss fight actually. But we get some coin coins, which is great. Cabrangage. Huh. A little checkpoint. No boss fight though. I really felt a boss fight coming. Sometimes I'm wrong on these things. Go quick and I won't get thwomped. Go quick and I won't get thwomped. That's a pretty fun little section. Running fast and dodging thwomps, dodging disco, waffle balls of death. Into the old door. Stage clear, okay. Stage ended a little abruptly, but I thought it was pretty fun overall. All right, Super Mario Land 2 game style level. Let's go. Wait, what is it called? It's called Koopa Crevice. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go into the Koopa Crevice, but here we are. Hey, this looks sweet. I love this game style because, you know, it looks like you're playing an old Game Boy game. Because, you know, Mario Land 2 was an old Game Boy game, so it all adds up. If only it had that ugly green color uh, a little more than the black and white would be really funny. It was just the screens that made it look like that, but still, I think of ugly green when I think of Game Boy games. It'd be cool if they made the color version of this, too. There's that really sweet Mario Land 2 mob where it's all in color and it looks awesome. Whoa! These things are crazy. <laughs> okay, those are platforms. Woo! That was crazy. <laughs> These platforms, they feel super crazy and weird. Checkpoint, yeah. This has its own little feel. I like this level. Go in the pipe? Nope. Oh, man! <laughs> I love the way he looks when he puts his hand on his hat when he ducks in this game style. Hey, Koopa Troopa, could you take out that goom brat for me? Thank you. Very kind of you, actually. Watch out for the pranny plants. Watch out for the Koopa Troopa. Doobie -dee -doop -doo. Fire flower me up. Nice. All right. Warning, this area ahead has been infested with piranha plants, and we are too lazy to exterminate them. Walk with care. Now think about it. Why are you here in this dangerous cave? You mean the Koopa Crevice, as it's commonly called by many. <laughs> well, even the question mark blocks have piranha plants. They didn't lie. There's definitely an infestation going on here. Cave exit. Cool. Get me out of this crevice. No one wants to be in the Koopa crevice. It's kind of stinky. Boom. Uh, sweet, sweet baby 100. Well, every time we do this series, we have to play a Mario Brothers special level. And here it is. This game style will surely hurt your eyes. <laughs> I actually like heavily saturated colors, vibrant colors. Uh, but this particular brightness and mix of hues kind of hurts my eyes, especially the reds. But even this green, woo, it's a little rough, but that's fine. You gotta play Mario Brothers. <laughs> we got like really floaty jumps. So we're gonna use that to our advantage and hopefully get a power up right here. Cloudflower, did not see that coming. Cool, Cloudflower makes our lives easier. Yeah, now we can get the checkpoint. Oh, <laughs> you took my cloud flower, you dang Goomba. I mean, Galoomba, whatever you are. All right, if we keep going, nothing can really hurt us. But man, yeah, it's like the gravity's been tweaked and it feels really weird. That's a crooked mushroom if I've ever seen one. I bet we can go in here. Nope, I was wrong. I love that they have the balance platforms. Wee! That's not end of the level. Okay, please don't kill me. Is this gonna be a giant springy scabrungy spring? Hopefully. Whee! Can't go in the pipe. Now we have a lack of two. <laughs> Help me. I need a power up. Have another cloud flower. Heh <laughs> heh. How you like that, spiny? Nope, can't have a cloud flower. Good. Didn't want one anyways. At least the lack of two went away. And the level. All right. Well, that wasn't too bad. I gotta say. All these levels today have been pretty fun so far. An adventure across the multiverse. All right, we can be Toad, Luigi, or Mario. We're gonna be Mario this time. Mario, get some love. Throw the shell. Watch out for the Goombi. Oh geez, and by Goombi, I mean Goomba. Sorry Goomba, but it's not your lucky. All right, do we let him live? 
What would you do? Let me know in the comments. Oh, you want me to kill him? Sorry, Goomba. The people have spoken. Why are there coins right there? That seems like a thing we could jump into, probably. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Bonus! <laughs> Check out this Mario pixel art! This is so awesome! I really love it, this. It actually kind of looks like Seven Granddad Mario. And we can bust through. This is so cool. Alright, I love it. Please don't hurt me. That would be rude. Do do ba do ba do. We have like all the special special moves. We got oh, ice flower, which is perfect for this situation. Hey, Buzzy Beats, watch out! There's some enemies here that are trying to ruin my life. Oh, we lost our ice flower. Well, that's fine. Who needs an ice flower this day, anyways? Not this guy. I don't need it whatsoever. Here's an extra mushroom we don't need as well. Like seeing the old Mario World flippy blocks, 8-bit style. Well, that's rude. I guess we need that mushroom now. Help! I almost died. It would really be bad. Wait, we got a little hideaway. I love it's got the hideaways. That's pretty cool. We need to go up here right now. Doodly 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 doodly. All right, we got uh, Mario 2 <laughs> again. You know, other game styles sneak in when you play Mario Multiverse because you can have multiple game styles per level, right? So that's cool. I took the hit, but I'm feeling pretty good. Doodly do. I can't bust through there. Well, that's not good. Well, I can't get that fire flower now. So how about we get the checkpoint? We grab this shell. Throw the shell at the hammer bro. Bust on through. Grab the fire flower. And success. That was a pretty good series of events. We just have every move, so it's really fun to traverse this level. Help! Ah, okay. What's in the door, my friend? Old bonus area? I like these bonusy areas. How about a really cool power up? No? Fine. I'll forgive you over time. Bum, 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 bum. Do, 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 do. We can ground pound these. That gives us totally nothing. That is okay. Buzzy Beats! Be careful, my friends. You know what? Let's put you somewhere safe. Like, I know you like to go swimming. Here, Buzzy Beats. Have fun. Swimming. See you later. At least you have the option now. Can I get into this? No. That is not a go-inable pipe by my measure. <laughs> Cheap Cheap's like, Ooh! <laughs> Which is good. It's good to be excited about things, Cheap Cheap. See you later, Sledge Bro. That's a big sled. Wait. It's kind of sparkling. What do you got in you, buddy? Nothing. Oh, he had a... He had a propeller suit. But we didn't get it. Man, there's a... We're going through like every game style in the world. That's fine. <laughs> there's a one game style for every level. <laughs> or every pipe is a different game style. <laughs> I mean, come on. Doodly dee. I just feel like we need to speed through here now. Didn't know it was going to be a long mashup of levels. Seeing little bits and pieces that remind me of original levels from each respected game, but gotta be careful here. Peace switch. Oh, that looked like a solid wall for a second. Man, a hammer bro with a piranha plant on top. And he dodged my dang shell. And now our boomerang bro on a goom brat. This is cool. Help. Good dodge. Whoop. I thought that was a bottomless pit for a minute. But I was wrong. We just need to get through here pretty quickly. That was dumb. I thought I was safe. Now we have to do this. Okay. We should be okay. Probably. There could be something good in here. Nope. I'm trying not to go too far because I don't want to be eaten by a chain chomp. There we go. Perfect. Checkpoint. Now we're in Mario World. Kind of saw it coming, but that's fine. Cloudflower. Ooh. Cloudflower. Sweet. Don't mind if I do. I like Cloudflower a bunch. That makes our lives easier, too. Because then we can just kind of skip through here super fast as long as we don't lose it. Help. I love how the Cloudflower just always lands right where you're jumping. It's pretty dang cool. Lots of checkpoints. Oh, geez. Please don't kill me. I don't want to lose my Cloudflower either. Oh, ha, ha. that's fine. Oh, Tanuki! Tanuki's the best. Oh, you were going to hurt me? Well, no, you're not, because I have a Tanuki suit. Maybe next time. 
Wait, how do I get in these? I don't know. Help! Oh, man, that was dumb. But that's fine. You know what? That's fine. It's totally fine. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Didn't mean to get hit, but that's fine. If we saw the cloud flower would be set. But we don't. We do not. Whoa! <laughs> Bonsai. Help! <laughs> Bonsai Bill. Coming off a Bonsai Bill launch here. Pretty awesome. It just looks crazy. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're dead. Of course we are. I should have used my mushroom. Go! Ooh! Whoa, where'd I go? <laughs> Alright! Yeah, you did it! Hope you enjoyed this! I made you more! Alright, Scary Mountains. Let's do it with Luigi. We can pick stuff up. Whoop-de-doo. Whoop-de-doo! But that'll make it feel more like actual Mario 3. I can't climb this vine. Very misleading vine there. But that's fine. Alright, another mountain theme level. That's cool. I uh, played another one earlier. I don't know which order I'll put these levels in, but... Uh, if this is the first mountain level I played in this video, then whoa! Look at this! It's a mountain level! But if it's like, you know, the second mountain level I played, uh, then, uh... Whoa! Another mountain level! There we go. I covered all my bases. Uh... Can we go in the pipe? Nope. Good, though. I, I don't... I'm not a big fan of being able to go into the very first pipe you see, or, you know, like, the obvious pipes every time. I do like bonus areas, don't get me wrong. But it's just nice when it's not always the obvious pipe. So these these vines are unclimbable. Unclimbable vines. They're just decoration. That's fine. Not all vines are meant to be climbed. Maybe they're really thin, weak vines, and Luigi knows better, and he's like, if I climb that vine, it's gonna rip, I'm gonna fall down, and I'm gonna hurt my knee a bit. Okay, I see what I need to do here. I thought this was gonna be a moving platform. Weak. Ooh, a borderline blind jump, but just enough time to kind of see what you're doing. I like this music. Do 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 boop boop. Okay, heading up with the lead, the 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 we the, the, the Luigi. I can talk, I swear. Sorry, Goombas, it's your unlucky day. End of the level. A little short, but fun as heck. I liked it. Good job, level maker. Good job, in a DD. For our Super Mario All-Stars level, we have Super Mario Flash level one, Toad House included. We can play as Mario Luigi. We're going Luigi. This is a recreation of Super Mario Flash's level one, which I barely really remember that at all. But this does look very familiar. So maybe I do remember it a little bit. I'll take a star and a mushroom. Well, maybe, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Maybe I will, maybe give me the star. Okay, we got the star. Should have got the mushroom first, but whatever. This is fine. Everything's okay. There's lots of blocks here. I wonder who made the original Mario Flash game. Luigi's jumps are just a floaty. That cloud's happy though, so that's cool. Oof. I almost did the same thing twice. <laughs> that would have been kind of embarrassing, but you know, it's fine. I don't remember this level being very long, so it should be a pretty easy one, really. It's good to have a few short levels, because we always have a few long levels in these videos. And these videos are always pretty dang long. Anyways, that's some precision jumping with Floaty Luigi. Ten coin coin. Squusha da Goomba. Give me a power up. No, fine. Didn't want one anyways. End of the level. Yep. Cool. See you later. Maybe we should have finished the level. Let's go back and do that. Good job, Luigi. All right, our new Super Mario Brothers level is World 4-1. Or W-4-1. The W could mean anything, really. I love new Super Mario Brothers. One of my favorite Mario games. So this game style is always really fun. Yeah, this is cool. Whenever I see this game, I always want to see it like on a DS screen, <laughs> you know? But it's cool seeing it widescreen on my computer, you know? I like it. Oh, that's one way to do the long blocks. I like it. Pixel art maker in this game really opens up the possibilities with what you can create and recreate. Checkpoint, don't mind if I do. Let's go fast for a little bit, Luigi. Sometimes you just gotta run around with Luigi. You swim, go into the yellow pipes, you know, the huge. Well, bonusy bonus area never hurt anybody. Oh, eye for an eye, though. Hope it was worth it, Firebrew. 
I'm still not used to Luigi's insanely floaty controls of this game yet. Coin got get coin. Whatever. You're a coin got get coin. Whatever that means. <laughs> you know what, fire bro? Mind your own business. And by mind your own business, I mean eat a fireball. And we missed. That's okay. That's a nice little traditional level. I like it. And by I like it, I mean I love it. <laughs> that was almost a good recovery. I'll play this level super sloppy, but it's still fun, you know? I'm just a little slap happy today. I'm having a good time. Levels today have just been really fun. Yeah, it was a fun, nice little, short, little, sweet, little, sweet level. Sweet, sweet Luigi 100. Good job, Luigi. Just good job. All right, the main course. This will be our new Super Mario Brothers U level for this episode. The main course, eh? This game style really, really impresses me. Now, I say it every video, but I mean, it looks pretty dang good. A lot of the animations look better. I mean, when you... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what I was gonna say before I had a coughing fit is, uh, you know, you put a lot of Koopa Troopas in a small space, I mean, things might get a little weird, but what can you do? I mean, the Goombas walk pretty smooth. I mean, this is basically 2D sprites, uh, you know, trying to emulate 3D sprite movements, so, you know, that's pretty good overall, I think. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> is that a Bowser pixel art made out of coins? It might be. Bounce, 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 ba bounce. Fire flower. Don't mind if I do. And I'll take the spring too, thank you very kindly. I like his casual run with the spring. It's a me, it's spring of Mario. It's a me, it's spring of Mario again. Anyway. Oh, ha, 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 ha. oh, that's what I get for goofing around. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Bowser pixel art, pixel art, like Bowser fish or something. All right, well, that was really short, but you know what? Uh, that's fine. It's good to have a few short ones. <laughs> it's good because, you know. It keeps the video from being too long. <laughs> All right, that's what's called Mario World. Very creative title by old Noodle. Or is it Nude1009? I'm gonna say Noodle. Uh, let's be Yoshi for some reason. Yoshi can't get power-ups, but it'll be fun to play as him. Well, he's an 8-bit Yoshi in a 16-bit world, but that's fine. Hello, it's very windy. Yoshi, it's bad weather today. Be careful. Bring ha bring 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 that's how Yoshi talks. All right. Well, we can't collect fire flowers and in one hit will kill us now. So picking Yoshi was probably a mistake and makes this hard mode, but that's fine. We're professionals and Yoshi's probably got this. Help. Don't kill me. Whoa. <laughs> Dang it. The wind's not doing me any favors. Okay. We got up there. Go. We just keep going. The fact we can't pick up any power-ups is a little bit messed up. <sighs> Checkpoint. Beautiful. Oh, Yoshi. You came this far. That's impressive. I would go inside. It's not too windy there, but it's your choice. Thanks for the one-up. Do we go inside or we keep going straight? I think we go inside because it is very slippery and the wind's driving me crazy. Ugh, no twirls. No power-ups. Why did I pick Yoshi? It's a lot harder of a level. We just wanted a challenge. Help! <laughs> well, all right, we're not going in the pipe. How's that sound? So it's not windy in there. I don't care. Luigi's spinning on the screen still, which means the game's loading. Oh, geez. I gotta take out Bowser Jr., eh? Boom. Should be pretty easy. These platforms never fall down, so what could possibly go wrong? Do, 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 do. He didn't come out of a show. Two hits. One more hit and we got this. Just hide in your egg, Yoshi, and everything will be fine. So we had to do a boss fight. One hit kills us, but that's okay. You're dead. Get that other coin we were saving just in case we got hungry. Into the door. Hello, my friends. Yeah. Ding, ding. Oh, thanks for the fire flower I can't use. Very helpful. Oh, jeez. They did not plan this for Yoshi at all. They're like, let's make Yoshi a playable character. But there's no way they beat this with Yoshi, right? <laughs> there's no checkpoint. And, uh, you know, we just fought a boss, so that's cool. I'm just gonna have to do a little bit, oh my gosh, of that. <gasps> oh, we did it! <laughs> we did it as Yoshi! Alright. Wait a minute. We're Yoshi on Yoshi. Well. 
All right, we got our Kirby's Adventure level. Venomous Briars by old Dav553. We get to play as Mario. Mario, not Kirby. Cool. But I love this game. So I'm actually a huge fan of Kirby's Adventure. It's one of my favorite NES games. Very underrated game. I mean, I know it's decently popular. They still make Kirby games to this day. But I feel like most people I talk to, like, don't love the game quite as much as I did. Or do. <laughs> You know, I, I just hear a lot of people like, you know, they like the Mario games, the Zeldas, the... Oh, I died. Well, cool. But what I was getting at is, you know, a lot of people love all the other classic games a lot, and I feel like, you know, Kirby's Adventure doesn't get quite the same love as other popular Nintendo, you know, games. But, you know, what do I know? Maybe other people agree with me. This Kirby's Adventure is awesome. Obviously, it must... Otherwise, it wouldn't be a game style in Mario Multiverse, right? Sorry, Wiggler. Ooh, are we talking... We're talking vine jumps. Something I'm not great at, but that's fine. Okay, these actually aren't too bad. Luckily in this game, uh, vine jumps aren't too bad because the control's pretty solid when it comes to vine jumping. I like having fire, Mario. Please don't take it away. Little guy, <laughs> little turtle guy. All right. I like that this game style has made all the Mario enemies Kirby-ish, you know, instead of just replacing them with Kirby enemies. Though that would be cool too. It's just kind of cool seeing like what a Goomba would look like in Kirby's Adventure style, in my opinion. Do do like look, there's a Kirby's Adventure toad trying to tell me something. Hi Mario, I'm gonna go hiking to the hilltops. I hope it won't rain too much. <laughs> well, I hope it doesn't rain for you as well, Toad. You deserve better. All right, this way to the rainy hilltops. You know, when I see sides like this, I want to run through them to finish the level because I play too much Sonic games. Uh, but that's <laughs> that's not what we're supposed to do at all. There we go. Boom, in the level. Everything's fine. Everything's great. Good job, Mario Kirby. Our Super Mario Endless World level, Mario Saves the Multiverse by Mr. Chez. Hey, Toad. It's a forward day, Mario. Maybe Bowser won't ruin it like he always does. Not the voice I was expecting, but I like it, Toad. A little lower pitch than I was expecting. Do -do -do -do. Look, even the whole down option in this game style. So many frames of animation. Just looks cool. I mean, it's not a ton of frames, but it just looks cool. All right. Some randomly laid out coins in a bonus area. Nothing to see here. Oh, butt booty bounce action, yeah! Butt booty bounce action, yeah! We gotta do it one more time, right? Butt booty bouncing action, yeah! <laughs> yeah, one up, why not? It's probably a secret over here, too. Nope, I was wrong. Moving on. How about a penguin suit? Nope. But a sneaky vine will do just fine. We're basically climbing on this vine. <laughs> basically. Where the heck are we going right now? They really put this high up in the sky. Penguin suit? No, but a star. Look, like you don't get stars very often in Mario Multiverse levels. Any maker games. <gasps> Whew. Okay, good save. Nice job. Another pipe we can go in. Whoa, was not expecting this. Whoa, I feel so blocky in the retro. <laughs> yeah, this game style is just awesome. All right, we're getting a... Uh, a lot of game styles in some levels. M -m -m Mario, Bowser's corrupting your multiverse. Please stop him. I was switching having fun. Well, I got you here. Please stop Bowser. Here, take this and I'll help you. Fireflower, that's a little doty doty. You're so cute. Oh, yeah. All right, moving on. Bowser's not so secret pipe to the multiverse. Let's go. Just kidding. I know we're supposed to go in the pipe. Bowser time. Checkpoint. Volcano time. If you're reading this, it's too late. I'm Toad 4. I tried to stop Bowser, but failed. If you're Mario reading this, please stop and go back. It's not worth it. Eh, I got this. Oh, hello. Mario, don't go any farther. Bowser has full access to the multiverse. He's led you here. Please stop. You can't hide from him. We've all tried, except for me. Everyone else is gone, like forever. Well, not everyone. I see some Goombas. I see a death block that almost got me. And I got Disco Waffle Ball, but better than getting killed. Take out the old hammer, bro. Hurry up. Okay. We only got 90 seconds-ish. <sighs> and I ground pounded on accident. Cool. I don't know if these things sink. Are they bouncy blocks? No, they're solid. Okay. A little scary. Checkpoint. 
doesn't really much matter when you're pretty much out of lives, but that's fine. Alright, Thwomps, I see ya. Not sure what- Oh, I, I spun! I hit the spin button, it didn't do anything. Well, that's not good. We lost our mushroom. Now we gotta defeat Bowser's little tiny Mario. Well... And he's giant too. Help! <sighs> Just go under him. Ah! Oh, game over. Great! I was hoping we could replay the level from the beginning. The new plan is just to run right under you. See you later, Bowser. Enjoy the lava bath, my friend. It's not over. <laughs> Why is it not over? All right, Toad. Sorry, I don't got time to talk to you right now. <laughs> we had levels to finish. Places to go. People to see. Now this one's called Luigi Goes on a Date. Well, cool. Who's he going to go on a date with? There's a little Goomba in a suit. Hey, Goomba. Hey, Luigi. What's this? You're going on a date? Good luck, I guess. Thanks, Goomba. That Goomba's really cool. I think I love this guy. I love you, Goomba. You're my, you're my bro. Just remember that. Don't tell Mario I said it. The bridge is under construction. Please consider not going through. Eh, forget that. Oh, it was so unstable! Wait, you went over that in your car? Toad, you gotta be careful. Should pay attention to signs that you read. Oh geez, I bonked my noggin. That's fine. Alright, what's up here? So I came all the way up here for nothing. Good! We're going building top to building top. Yeah, Luigi likes to stay up high before he goes on dates. Alright, a little social distancing goom brat. Maybe he has a cold and he's trying not to spread it. I don't know. Hey, what's up? Are you in a gang, Dry Bones? I don't know. Great Boom Boom's office. Whoa! Well, that's not fair, but that's fine. Here, I'll throw a businessman coop at you. Help. Okay, could you uh, go hit Boom Boom again for me, please? Thank you. Cool. This is going pretty smoothly overall. Yep, we got rid of old Boom Boom Maru. How do I get out of here? Ooh, a hidden door, I see. I love this music. Uh, but why? <laughs> why was I at Boom Boom's office? I was supposed to be going on a date. Can you get this block for me, please? That's just a 10 coin. What's going up there? How do I get up there? Oh, man, we're running low on time. You don't want to be late to a date. Much of Mario's Cafe was pretty amazing. You have to try it out. Okay, well, let's hope there's ground here. Well, <laughs> there's not. All right, we're supposed to blind jump to victory. Woohoo! We made it to Mario's Cafe. That blind jump then was a little. Hey, it's Daisy. Oh, see you later, Daisy. I'm going in without you <laughs> for some reason. Bye. All right, for our Mario Arcade level, we got the Blocklands by Third Watcher from Canada. Cool. Mario Arcade style is awesome. Nice to be. It's very red, but this is red done right. You know, Mario Brothers Special could take note of this. If you're gonna use way too much red, be a little more tasteful and less saturated, and less eye bleeding. Oh geez, that's a lot of enemies all of a sudden. That's fine, we're probably all right. <laughs> Get me out of here. Okay, woof, checkpoint please, no fine. We got a little spammy with enemies, but overall it was uh, pretty fun though. Man, I love the look of these shells. They look shiny. It's funny how minimal Listic pixel art can look so good. I'm glad we got twirls. Wasn't really sure, but we did. I think we could literally get stuck in here. Just a little messed up, but that's fine. Wow. Yeah, you could get stuck in there. It's pretty generous with how long it gives you, but yeah, that was a little scary. Mushroom me up. We got big old Mario now. And a heart. Cool. Getting stuck in there would have been pretty messed up. But the cool thing about Mario Multiverse is you can restart from checkpoints. Uh, I don't think we've gotten a checkpoint yet, but you know, it's still pretty cool. There's a toad. Three one-ups. Oh my gosh. It's like a two's out of control. You had that coming. Let's fly down and see what Toad's got to say for himself. If he'll let me. All right, I'll get out of the cloud. What do you guys say? The level was way too easy. Whoa, rocket ship, Toad. See you later. Beautiful job, Mario. Beautiful job indeed. All right, this one's called Hot Hot Desserts. 
and we'll play as Luigi. Super Mario Advance 4 level of this video. It's cool hearing this music kind of like a little more bit crushed. Does sound like it would be in Mario Advance 4. Okay. Kabarangage. Kabarangage. Oh, okay, that was almost bad. Uh oh. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you thought of putting a block there. Alright, we'll take out this spiny, which gives us a mushy. We got wall jumps, right? Nope. We don't. But we can uh, find hidden blocks and get out just fine. <sighs> that was scary. Sheesh! Got a little carried away with the hammer bros here, but that's fine. I think I can make it to the top with the Weege, because his jumps are so high! Wow. That went pretty smooth. Can we get a fire flower? For hanging on to our power up? That was probably progressive, if I was to guess. We can spin through and get some coinages if we'd like. And I would like. <laughs> I want to see what's in this block as well. It better be something good. It better not just uh, be nothing. Okay, I got scared and I killed it. <laughs> Never mind. We're just going to go this way. Oh, Muncher's out of nowhere. That's the best place for a muncher to go. Oh, got my fire flower back though, which is nice. Thwomps. Okay, that was scary. Fire bros. More like fire news. Whoa. Luigi's so jumpy, I feel like I'm, I lose control out of him when I jump real high. We could get rid of this Lakitu. That'd be great. Oh, he flew away. I think we're at the end of the level. We are. Just finished the level. Sweet, sweet baby 100. Good job, Luigi. All right, our Yoshi's Island level is Mario Adventures around Yoshi's Island 3. All right. Find the key. Nice little title screen. I like it. So we just got to find the key. Well, we found the key. That was pretty dang easy. Can I have a power up too, though? No? Fine. I don't want one. Why would I want one? I really don't want one. Don't give me a power up. I'm trying to use reverse psychology. It's not working so far. Yeah, this looks sweet. Hello, Koopa Troopa. Could you help me out, my friends? Boop. Animashi. Good. Now we're set. Man, it's just crazy how awesome of a game style you can make with so few pixels. Yoshi's Island. I still have never played through Yoshi's Island, the original game, weirdly. There's old Yosh. Hey Yosh, good to see ya. Let's go on an adventure together. I've grown up since before. I'm not a baby that cries and floats away on a bubble anymore. Now I'm a full-grown man. Probably a little heavier, but at least you don't have to listen to me crying anymore. That's gotta be pretty nice. Alright, we could have double fire flowers. Don't try to hurt my Yoshi. Those are pretty cool. Lots and lots of little platformy forms. I like it. How about a checkpoint? I just, you know, sometimes I just crave a checkpoint here and there. Right now, I could really go for one. Do a little boogie dance. Probably could go right up to here. Okay. Lots some mushies. Everything's okay. We will not fall off. We just finished the level. Oh, and Yoshi gets uh, taken out when you get the flag. Well, that's a little messed up, but that's fine. Luigi meets Mario is our new Super Mario Brothers Wii level. Boom. Hello, and welcome to my first level in Mario Multiverse. Sweet. Your first level, eh? Let's see how you did. First level, you know, you have... You have nothing to live up to, and you can only learn and uh, grow from it. But I like seeing people's first levels because sometimes they're still really impressive. So far, this feels like a legit, cool, little, dang, awesome uh, traditional level. I gotta say, so far, you've done a great job. The level's a little flat, so it feels kind of like a 1-1 kind of level. And... You just fed Yoshi a poison mushroom. <laughs> That's all right. We still don't have Yoshi flutters. That'd be great if that gets added eventually. All right, so honest opinion. No finish for you, Luigi. 
I was gonna say, uh, my only critique was the level was too short, but you tricked me! <laughs> so that was pretty good! Alright. Nice work. Oh, we don't spit out bones on this game, that's right. You're lucky, Dry Bones, you just get spat out as a shell. You're probably fine. Yeah, that was a cool little twist. I thought it was under the level already, which felt very, this is my first levely. But you got me good. <gasps> You're still alive. I could have panic ditched Yoshi there. I could have. It would have ensured my safety, but I didn't do it. And in the end, everything worked out. Luigi, you will never rescue Mario. He tried to escape, but I caught him and blocked the hole. Uh, he blocked the hole? Okay, that's fine. Oh yeah, we'll just spit your fireballs back at you, Bowser. How you like a them apples? And by apples, I mean fireballs. Eat your fireballs. Oops. Don't you hurt my Yoshi, I'll fireball you to death. Ooh, there's a secret exit if you have like a, a blue shell or something, I guess. That's pretty cool. Boom. We finished the level. Amazing. Uh, this one's candy into the fridge dimension. Oh, well, it looks like my fridge is bigger than I expected it to be. All right, here we go. That's a big old doggy dog. Good to see a big old doggy dog. Get squooshed. Now there's two dogs. Now you have a friend. You can thank me later. And now you don't have a friend. That actually felt kind of mean. I'm sorry. All right. We're jumping on snails, we're jumping on dogs. This game style is just so weird. I love it though. It really works with Mario quite well, honestly. I always look forward to these levels because they look so different. I feel like a lot of the most creative levels get made in this game style. People looking to mix things up. I feel like we're going left all of a sudden. I mean, we've been going left this whole time, but I, I feel like the end of the level is going to be to the left. And that's fine. It just feels really weird to go left. I mean, uh, sometimes you'll play those weird Luigi games where you'll go left instead of right. I don't know why it feels so wrong, though. <laughs> it just doesn't feel right. Whoa! I just stopped there by accident, but that'll work. Come on down. Don't squoosh me, please. Whoa, bananas! <laughs> So we gonna go in bananas. Finally, an exit. Exit, totally real. I believe it. It was real. <laughs> All right. All right. That's gonna wrap up another episode of Mario Multiverse. One level for every single game style. Pretty cool. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel and like what you see, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll know when I release new videos. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, join the BTG Discord, check out my merch store down below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, we'll see you around.